Hello everybody, what's up? In this quick edit video I'm going to apply a haunted look, which means I'm going to apply a heavy blue color cast, make it a lot darker, also introduce a lot more contrast, reduce the saturation quite a bit and finally add some glow effect over the whole image. All the editing will be done in Adobe Photoshop, that means the raw adjustments are done in the camera raw editor. While I use Photoshop to clean up the image, to finalize everything I'm going to use the Nick Collection plugin. But let's just jump right into it. Alright, here we are in the camera raw editor and I'm going to the optics tab first as always to remove chromatic aberration and use the profile corrections. Then I'm going back to the basics tab and also I'm changing the camera profile to Adobe Standard. This will just slightly reduce the contrast of the image, so I just have more control over it myself. Then let's work on a haunted look. What I mean by that is to give this image some kind of horror film feeling, giving it a nice blue color cast. And we can easily achieve that by simply dropping the temperature quite a lot. You can already see the colors start to look very very strange, especially those orange and green tones. That's not a big deal though, I can simply drop the vibrance. This way I end up with a nice bluish color cast without strange looking colors. Now the image is still too bright and it doesn't have this creepy feeling, but I'm changing this by simply dropping the exposure and making everything a lot darker. That's better, but I still want to have some highlights left, so I'm simply increasing the whites. And this way I'm also introducing some nice contrast to the image. Okay. Also, I'm always paying close attention to the histogram to not overexpose or underexpose any area of the image. But right now we can still decrease the blacks for some nice contrast. Alright, in this case I could even increase the dehaze, which will just add some clarity to this image and also introduce some more contrast. With this slider you need to be very very careful though, it's easily overdone. But that's really it for the basic adjustments. Then let's work on the local adjustments for a moment. You can see I have applied a gradiated filter for the foreground and, and here I just want to increase the texture and the clarity to make this road a little more interesting. Alright, at this point the shadows are too saturated for my taste and I can use another gradiated filter to fix that. So I want to target the whole image, that means I'm creating the gradiated filter outside of this image. Just like this, and you can see everything is affected by this filter. First, let us reset those settings real quick. Now, since I want to specifically target the shadows, I can simply activate the luminance range mask. And let me visualize the mask. Right now, the whole image is affected since we didn't define any luminance range, but I'm going to target the dark spots that means I'm dragging the right point for the whites all the way down to the dark range. And you can see everything that's red in this case will be affected by this gradiated filter. And since I only want the darkest darks, something like this should work quite nice. So with those settings, let's just drop the saturation all the way down. And this way we can remove this unneeded blue color cast from the dark areas. Alright, but that's it for the gradiated filters. Then there's a radial filter left to work on and that's for the center part of the image. For this area I want it to be a little less visible, so I'm simply using negative dehaze. And that fixes the problem. Alright, that's it for the local adjustments in the camera raw editor, then let's continue with the color grading. I pretty much want to get rid of most 
colors here, so I'm dropping the orange saturation. I'm also dropping the green saturation and a little bit of the aquas as well. And then let's head to the split toning. Yeah, I'm simply going to use the shadows to apply a cold color tone. Somewhere in this range, but let's reduce the saturation here. Now the image starts to really look cool, I think. The last thing that's left in the camera raw editor is the sharpening. And I'm done here. So let's open it up in Photoshop. First off, of course I want to clean up the image. That means I'm duplicating that background layer by hitting Ctrl J. And I'm doing this just to have a backup layer in case I mess something up. Then I'm grabbing the spot healing brush which I usually use to clean up images. Then let's zoom in a little bit and just brush over the sensor spot. And I can also remove other objects with the spot healing brush. Alright, that's it for cleaning up the image. Then it's time to add the glow effect. Therefore I'm using a new layer. Switch the blending mode to soft light. Grab the brush tool. And I'm making sure the brush opacity is set to around 10%. Otherwise the effect would be too strong. With the brush tool active, I'm holding down the Alt key and click in a bright area like this to pick up this exact color tone. Um, let's make it a little brighter and with this color tone I'm simply brushing in a few times. Alright, that's already enough. Very subtle but I think very effective in this case. Then let's merge everything. For the next step I want to apply a levels adjustment layer and just drag up this black point to add some more contrast. Since I think this adjustment only works on the upper part of the image, I'm going to invert the layer mask by selecting it and hitting Ctrl I. Then I'm simply grabbing a white brush and paint back in this effect. Just like this. Actually, wait. Let's again reduce the brush opacity. So we have a little more control over this effect. I'm just painting this in back on the very top of the image. Alright, cool. Then let's merge those two layers and finally it's time to check the Nick Collection plugin to finalize the image. First off, I want to start with the tonal contrast filter. The basic settings are quite a bit too much, so I'm resetting them real quick. Now for this shot I want to boost the highlights and this will just make them a little brighter in this case. Also I am increasing the midtones to get some more details and that works pretty well. Okay, this effect looks very nice. I still want to apply a layer mask and just mask out the center of the image since I think I need to have a more hazy look in there. So with the layer mask applied, I'm using a black brush and let's just paint over the end of the road there. Nice. Then let's merge those two layers one more time and again head to the Nick collection one last time. Here finally I want to use the glamour glow to apply a subtle glow effect. Let's reset the saturation. And maybe drop the glow intensity a bit. But this way it looks pretty nice. Okay. Finally, again, let's apply a layer mask. Use a black brush. And this time I'm just 
masking out the foreground since I want this area to be sharp and not affected by this glow effect. And that's it for editing this image. I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.